Yo, 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 peeps, how are you getting on? This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. And today is all about shotgun microphones. And we're going to be looking at the brand new Soundbird V6. It's a super cardioid polar patterned shotgun microphone by Saramonic. And I'm speaking on it right now. And as you can see, I've got two shotgun microphones set up. I've got on top, I've got the Sennheiser 416. And here I've got the Soundbird. And this is actually actually what the setup looks like and I am speaking into both at the moment which I will be swapping over in the intro. As you can hear it truly gives you a broadcast quality sound. So with that being said let's go and roll the intro. Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio, video and lighting gear each and every week. Don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout this video. All the audio in this video will be recorded by Saramonic's Soundbird V6 with 48 volts of phantom power engaged. And my gain level set at 28 decibels and I am recording in 24-bit 48 kilohertz. With that being said, let's go and do the unboxing. So everything comes in this well-packaged box, displaying plenty of useful information about the mic inside of it. Inside the box, you'll first find the SRC8 Pelican hard case. Opening the hard case, you'll be met with the Soundbird V6 microphone, a foam windshield, as well as a fur windscreen, or some do call them a dead cat. You'll also find a well-constructed shock mount and a mic clip, both including 5H to 3H stand adapters. You'll also find a 60 centimeter male to female XLR cable, and also included and rarely found with other manufacturers a cold shoe mount for cameras and as for the documentation you'll find a user manual a warranty card and a quality certificate so if you're interested in buying the soundbird v6 super cardio shotgun microphone for yourself it will set you back between 370 to 500 pound in the uk depending on where you decide to buy it from and all prices correct at the time of filming this video and as always i'll drop the links in the description down below also worth visiting their website saramonic.com for more more information about the Soundbird V6 and all their other lineup of amazing products. So now for a quick comparison, you're now listening to the audio from the Soundbird V6 and now you're hearing the audio from the Sennheiser MK416. Let me know in my Instagram comments which sounds best to you. And moving forward, let's go and check out the build quality and the features. As far as the build quality goes, the Soundbird V6 shotgun microphone is well constructed and manufactured. It has a solid brass construction. The CNC machined brass metal body guarantees the solid build quality and shields the microphone against radio interference and reduces handling noise. Meanwhile, the gold plated XLR connector not only resists a corrosion but also optimizes signal transmission for superior quality. It has an anodized black premium metal finish and feels amazing to the touch. The Soundbird Soundbird V6 is a professional short 9.9 inch phantom powered shotgun microphone that delivers superb mix ready recordings of the highest caliber. Ideal for movies, TV shows, news, documentary, weddings, recording background sounds, voiceovers and much much more. The mic itself comes weighing in at just 203 grams. It has a super cardioid polar pattern with ultra low noise circuitry coupled with high sensitivity and natural attenuation below 65 hertz for low frequency exhibiting precise directionality and exceptional off-axis rejection. Let's talk specs. As far as the specs goes, the Soundbird V6 has a frequency response of 65 Hz to 20,000 kHz. It's a condenser microphone with a super cardioid polar pattern. It has a sensitivity of minus 38 decibels with an output impedance of 600 ohms. It has a max SPL of 125 decibels, a signal to noise ratio of 78 decibels. And as for the power requirements you will require 48 volts of phantom power so now that you've seen the unboxing the build quality and the features let's go and do some testing on the soundbird v6 this is what the Soundbird V6 sounds like handheld and I'm speaking directly in front of the microphone. And now this is a proximity test on the Soundbird V6 and I'm right on top of the microphone and this is what the audio sounds like. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now I've got the mic above my head. This is a usual place where I would place shotgun microphones and this is what the audio sounds like. And now I'm speaking on the left hand side of the microphone and this is what the audio sounds like. And now I'm speaking in front of the microphone and this is what the audio sounds like. 
mic and now I'm speaking on the right hand side of the microphone and this is what the audio sounds like and now I'm speaking on the rear of the microphone and this is what the audio sounds like and now I'm speaking in front of the microphone around four fingers away and this is what the audio sounds like and now I'm speaking right on top of the microphone with the foam wind cover on and this is what the audio sounds like and this is what the audio sounds like without the wind cover and this is what the audio sounds like with the a furry windshield or the dead cat or whichever one you want to call it so let's go and place both of these on now so first we'll put the foam windshield and then we'll put the a dead cat on and I am doing this in a real time And now this is what the audio sounds on the Saramonic V6 with the foam windshield and the furry windshield or dead cat, whatever you want to call it. This is what the audio sounds like. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's move it an arm length away. And this is what the audio sounds like slightly off screen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's take them off. And I've uh, got it off screen now, and this is just barely off screen anyway. It's probably about, I would say about 18 inches away. Testing one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's move it around. Let's do a 360 while we're talking. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and we're okay. back. Now that you've seen all the tests, let's go and wrap up this video with some final thoughts. Absolutely love the sound that the Soundbird V6 offers, and it most definitely replaces some of my old shotgun microphones. The Saramonic Soundbird V6 stands as a top tier super cardioid shotgun condenser microphone crafted to excel across indoor, outdoor, and studio settings, tailored for some diverse applications from film to broadcast, and even my favorite voiceovers. If I get up close and personal, I can actually use this for some voiceover work. So, finally, would I recommend a Saramonic's Soundbird V6 to you, absolutely yes, 100%. The Soundbird V6 sits at the more affordable end of the shotgun mic market, but delivers on both sound and quality. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, drop me a DM on my Instagram at Futureshock Studios. Anyway, peeps, that's all you're going to get from me for today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Smash it if that's your kind of thing. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I shall catch you in the next video.